Welcome to Sugar MDs. Today we are going to talk about medications. Know your medicine series. I'm going to talk about ribelsus today. All right, so ribelsus is the newest GLP-1 agent. So what is a GLP-1 agent? I'm not going to go into medical details here, but you will remember if you have used Turlicity in the past, if you have used Ozempic, or if you have used Pyrurian, they were injections. Now, Noah Nordisk came up with this product, which is the pill form. So now we don't have to beg patients to go on injections to take these medications. It's available in the pill form. So what is ribelsus? Ribelsus is a gastrointestinal hormone that your body makes. Not exactly what your body makes, but it's very similar. So in patients with diabetes, due to the lack of this hormone or resistance to this hormone, your body does not make enough insulin when you eat. However, when you start taking these hormones, the connection between your stomach and then the pancreas, which is the insulin producing organ, reestablish the connection and you start making insulin again after you eat. So that is the purpose of ribelsis. Couple quick notes about ribelsis. The only problem with ribelsis, it is a little difficult to take because you have to take first thing in the, in the morning, you have to take it on an empty stomach and you have to wait at least 30 minutes before you eat or drink anything that includes your coffee and you do not want to take it with more than four ounces of water. You may also experience with some uh, problems, uh, side effects such as nausea, vomiting, um, and hopefully not vomiting, but nausea is not uncommon. Some gastrointestinal upset, uh, such as gassy feeling or indigestion, etc. Diarrhea may happen. So for these reasons, doctors generally recommend to start these medications at a very low dose, which is a three milligram, and after a month, you progress to seven milligram dose. Now the three milligram is not the most effective dose, so do not expect to have a rapid improvement, although it can happen, but the real result is expected when you move to seven milligram dose. Now, once you're on seven milligram, your doctor will reassess, and if your response is adequate, you do not have to increase your dose. However, if you need more to control your blood sugars more, then you can advance to 14 milligram dose. Again, you may also note in the label or from the pharmacist that there may be uh, some uh, caution against around this medication. If you have a family member, uh, generally in the first uh, generation, your mom or your, your dad, um, if they had any pancreatic cancer or, or medullary thyroid cancer, uh, doctors will be very cautious giving this medication to you. Not that these medications cause cancer. Uh, we do not have any evidence in human studies on thousands and, and millions of patients. Um, however, uh, in some studies, some rats developed the cancer, uh, the ones that we just talked about, the medullary thyroid cancer and the pancreatic cancer. And just because they are somewhat more susceptible to those cancers and they are given very high doses. So I'm comfortable giving these medications to my family members. And of course, the best medication is no medication. So at SugarMDs.com, we strive to get you out of medications, not to put you on the medications. But if you go on a medication, we want to make sure that you're on the best medication possible that the money can buy. And we want to make sure that your insurance covers it. And if they don't, we fight for you. If you have any problems with the medication's side effect, the cost, the dosing information, please call us at SugarMDs.com. We'll find a way to help you out.